Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. Today's book selection is a little unusual perhaps for this series. It's a novel. It's As a Driven Leaf by Milton Steinberg. It's an unusual book for us and also an unusual author because Milton Steinberg was a rabbi, a conservative rabbi. He was born in 1904 and he died tragically young at 46 in 1950. He was a very important writer and thinker and this is regarded as the only novel of any significance written by a rabbi. And it concerns a figure called Elisha ben Abuya. Elisha was a member of the rabbinic elite. He was trained in the tradition and he entered into all of the academies and became one of the rabbinic leaders of the nation. But then something happened. He may have come across Greek philosophy or Roman thought. He may have gone across the Romans as some sort of informer against the Jewish community. But something happens as a rupture and he is expelled from the rabbinic community and indeed from the Jewish community. And he's known not by his name traditionally, but as uh, Acher, which just means the other one. He's even removed as a named person in the tradition. He maintains some disciples, Rabbi Meir, is, remains his disciple, but he's very careful only to take the teaching from the tradition and not to take any of the heresy or other problematic ideas of Elisha ben Abuya. Steinberg wrote this novel, which takes us right back into that Talmudic period. He stitches together uh, bits of biographical data we have in the Talmud and other places, and he creates a very lively, interesting, and thought-provoking novel. I'll just read you one excerpt, which describes how Elisha is uh, inducted into the Sanhedrin as a full member of the uh, rabbinic community. Within the year, the Sanhedrin indicated formally its recognition of Elisha's great mastery of the tradition. On the last day of the autumn convocation, the patriarch announced that the sages had voted unanimously to accept Elisha ben Abuya of Migdal as a candidate for ordination, that they had assigned him a seat in the first of the disciples' benches in token of their readiness to elevate him to their number. The signal honour accorded him, despite his youth, surprised Elisha, but no one else, and the cries of felicitation greeted him from all sides as he rose to make his way to the place to which Gamliel beckoned. So you have the atmosphere of that inauguration and induction brought to life by Milton Steinberg. A great book to read and a great uh, book to consider in its ideas and its philosophy. Thank you for joining.